Uh, I want to bring in another guest joining us now from Capitol Hill, Republican Congressman Rodney Davis of Illinois. He was at bat when the shooting occurred. Sir, first of all, how are you doing? And thank you for being on the show this morning. You know, I'm fine, Mika. I, my, my thoughts and prayers are to uh, my good friend Steve Scalise and, and the others who were injured, Matt Micah and uh, Zach Barth and, and the two heroic police officers who, who saved many lives yesterday. All of our prayers are with you all this morning. Uh, we had a hard time with this story uh, for so many reasons, and I'm wondering if you could weigh in on the conversation we've been having here about the political climate. Given this is such a difficult time, we certainly don't want to jump to any conclusions in any way, but it's certainly a conversation worth having about what needs to happen moving forward. Well, thank you, and, and I agree completely. We've got to ratchet down this hateful politi political rhetoric that we see all over social media, all over the news media, in Washington, in our, our state houses. You know, this is, we can argue about policy differences, but we have to always realize that we're Americans first, and we have the ability to actually govern. We have the ability to choose our leaders. Let's settle our policy differences at the ballot box, not with bullets on a baseball field like uh, many of us had to witness yesterday. Mm. Tom Brokaw. Well, uh, Congressman, also, but much too, I mean, as tragic as that was yesterday, as unsettling as it was, and it took it to a whole different level. At the same time, in California, three right. UPS employees were killed by a disgruntled worker who then committed suicide. And that has become routine in America as well. And we don't have the same level of condemnation for a lot of those workforce mm -hmm. kinds of uh, outrages that go on. So it seems to me that. This is an opportunity for everyone to understand that we've got a virus in our country, or beyond a virus, really, in terms of picking up a gun to solve a problem, however large or however small it may be. Thank God that you're okay, and that we hope that everybody's going to be fine there. But there's nothing to indicate that there are others out there who would like to duplicate that in some fashion. Well, Tom, I agree. Workforce, uh, workplace shootings uh, need to be condemned, and, and that's what we ought to continue to do to change this tone that we see in this country. All you have to do, you can go to my social media today and, and see some of this vile, hateful rhetoric when the message I'm trying to send is the message of bipartisanship that I participate in every single day in Washington. I'm steps from the House chamber. Many of your viewers would not think that some of my best friends in Washington are Democrats I serve with. The majority of the issues that we face here, we do in a bipartisan way. It's those other issues where we have large policy disagreements that seem to, to create a, a, an atmosphere where we've seen this hateful rhetoric and polarization rise. And we saw that rise to a level where this shooter turned politics into his religion yesterday and tried to indiscriminately kill innocent people that weren't just members of Congress. They were in a park, kids, people walking their pets. That's why I stand here today to say enough is enough. And we all need to work together to make these changes. You remember right after 9-11, obviously, the country did come together and Congress came together, standing on the steps of the Capitol singing America the Beautiful and the National Anthem, both, I think, yeah. at that time, and it quickly went away. Since you've been back on the Hill now after this, tell me about the tenor of the, that building and the colleagues that you see across the aisle and how they're reacting to what you all went through. See, that's the difference that, that I see as serving in Washington already with so many good people of both parties. I don't see that hyper-partisanship that we see in the 24-hour news cycle and we see in, in, on social media. So what I saw yesterday was a lot of sympathy for those of us who were, who were part of that attack. I saw a lot of my friends on both sides of the aisle come up and say, hey, I texted you, I wanted to make sure you were okay. Well, I didn't have my phone because it was still out on the, out on the field hanging in my bag. But to have them come up and know that friendship matters more than politics and policy differences on the House floor, it should mean that those friendships matter more outside of this building when we have our policy differences too. All right, Congressman Rodney Davis, thank you so much. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.